Hey guys, it's Bethany, your crafty BFF, and today I am on with a requested video. Um, my good friend Susan, um, here on YouTube, had asked me to do, like, a process video of sorts, um, and I said, okay, I can definitely try to do that, um, so it took me a while to come up with, um, what I was going to say, and I'm still really nervous about this video because I normally don't do craft with me type videos, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, we're going to decorate this memory deck card, this tag, and this bag topper today. And um, here on camera, um, I took some time to write down um, some of the things that I take into consideration when I am decorating um, anything, any project. And so I'm going to go over those with you guys and then <coughs> hopefully as I'm decorating these things, you can see, I will try to point out and you can see how it is I take these, um, these kind of like, not rules, but guidelines i use these guidelines as i'm decorating and it usually turns out a success for me <laughs> um but susan was so sweet and said you know she said that my projects are always so pretty and she wants to know you know the process i use to um to make my projects so this is what i can i've come up with i hope y'all are gonna stick around and watch um if you like these kind of videos, definitely let me know, and I will try to get more comfortable in doing doing them. But, um, so when I am decorating a plain embellishment, no matter what it is, I kind of stick to these guidelines. Okay, so I always have a base embellishment, a rosette, usually a paper ruffle. I won't lie, I use a lot of paper ruffle. <coughs> I um, always add texture, whether that be um, snow tool, mesh, and intricate die cut, like this one or this one. Um, and then, and so, like, I've got all my stuff here all around me. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but I have my favorite pink um, mesh that I use. I have um, my snow tool here somewhere, somewhere, where did it go, here's some, I have my, my favorite light pink snow tool from the Dollar Tree, um, so those are things that I use, um, like, every time, I always add some kind of texture to my project, um, depending on the texture if i if i don't use um snow tool or mesh i'll usually use an intricate die cut which is what i call layering die cuts so like i said something like this um when you like i've come to notice that this is just a little side point like if i was to put this on here and then add a die cut like this I feel like that's way too much. It, it's it's just too much going on in the background. So I stick with one or the other. Um, but if I was going to use the snow tool, I, and I I probably wouldn't use this. I wouldn't use this because it still had both of them have like a cross pattern, you know, in in the um, in the design of the. Uh, products so like but if I was going to use the snow tool I would definitely use this layering die cut on top of it because it's not the same type of grid pattern as the snow tool is right does that make sense I hope that makes sense so that's that I don't think is too much but if you were to add something like this and something like this that's going to be way too much texture and um 
yeah, sorry, there's a bunch of stuff here on my desk that I'm not normally, I normally don't have, but, like, I wanted everything to be here around me so that when I decorate, I don't have to go running around my craft room looking for things. <laughs> Another thing I take into consideration is color balance. So, um, I really like to, like, on a memory decks card or a tag, I really like to use one of the pattern papers that has, like, the a lot of the colors from the collection in the pattern paper. So like this floral one has the pinks, the blues, the yellows, the purples, the greens. And um, that way, no matter what kind of elements I put on here, it's going to match, right? So um, I can use, I can take advantage of the pink. I can take advantage of the yellow the blue, the purple, whatever it is, and, um, whereas, like, if I'm doing, when I go to do this bag chopper, it'll probably mostly be pink with maybe one other color mixed in there, because, um, this pattern paper doesn't have all the colors, right, so, um, I try to stick with minimal colors when I'm working with a pattern paper like this that only has one or two colors on it. Um, and lastly, I take into consideration the rule of threes. Um, the rule of threes is just that our brains tend to like the symmetry of three things. So when I'm doing flowers, I, I do three. I, I always do like three um, flowers and then like I'll do three leaves. I'll, I'll show you when I get there or three enamel dots. Our brains just like the idea of three things. They use it in um, home decor and any kind of decorating. You always hear about the rule of three. So that is um, is the, the final thing, you know. Um, so we're going to decorate each item and we will do the finishing touches and I'll show like the finishing touches, I use like enamel dots or if, if I think they need it. Sometimes you just don't need it. But I have everything I could possibly need. I have die cuts that you guys have sent me. I have die cuts that I've cut out. Some of my favorite, favorite die cuts here. Like this one and my leaves. I have um, a whole box of different sentiments that I can use. I have a bunch of cut aparts from this collection. Oh, by the way, this collection is Maggie Holmes Round Trip. I am, uh, this is actually uh, some of the things I am creating for Naughty Naughty's um, Maggie Holmes swap. So, like, I have a rosette in here that I made a long time ago. I have a bunch of cut aparts from the collection, some puffy stickers. Some just pieces, random pieces here. I have um, my chipboard. I have my cart, my six by twelve cardstock stickers, the puffy stickers, the ephemera pack. I have this, which I'm pretty sh sure is not from um this collection specifically, but it, it is stickers that has to do with traveling. So this whole round trip thing is about travel. So that's the theme we're going with. Um, <laughs> I have my cart full of trims. I have my favorite uh, flowers here from Hobby Lobby because I'm, I didn't, I was going to make some just for this video, but I decided not to. Um, I even have the sticker sheet in this project pad from um, Joann's that I could use, but we shall see. We shall see. I have everything that I would normally decorate with, including my enamel dots here on the side. So, let's go ahead and start with the memory decks card. Uh, this is probably going to be kind of a long video, and I'm probably going to be standing up and sitting down a lot to make sure I'm still in frame. <clears throat> Actually, I can kind of see that I am in frame here. Um, so, 
before I start decorating any anything that I make, any project that I'm working on, I make sure it is nice and sturdy. Um, I want my projects to last a long time. I don't want them to be flimsy. I want uh, the recipient to be able to reuse them. Um, you, you know, like these tags that I'm going to make, these are the embellishments that I'm choosing to make. And I want my recipient to be able to be able to use this um, embellishment in three years if if that's how long she ends up um, keeping it and you know sometimes we we hoard things for for a long time before we actually use them and so I want them to still be in good shape whenever it is that the recipient does get to it and uses it so um, for memory decks cards for tags and for my bag toppers I always cut them out in uh, in at least 65 pound cardstock i tend to wing it towards the 110 pound cardstock i'll cut the base out in 110 pound and then i will cut it out in a patterned paper as well for tags i cut it out twice actually in patterned paper one for the front and one for the back and then there is a layer of 110 pound cardstock in there too. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is a thick, sturdy tag and it will last a long time. Even my bag topper, I cut it out in 110 pound white cardstock and then I cut it out in the 65 pound uh, or whatever it is, pattern paper from the collection. And this way it's not flimsy, it's going to last, they can reuse it, and it should stand, maybe not the test of time, but it will last a lot longer than if you're just sending a one layer of patterned paper flimsy cardstock, <laughs> right? So that's my number one um, thing for any project. I'm always going to... Um, do a base layer in 110 pound or at least 65 pound cardstock and then glue my pattern paper layer on top of the the plain cardstock and that is my TED talk on having sturdy projects I I say it all the time but I really mean it um I've had people send me memory decks cards that are literally one layer of 65 pound cardstock and they're flimsy and they don't even want to go into my memory decks card holder um well because it's so flimsy so definitely back up your memory decks cards your tags and even your bag toppers you can't go wrong yeah it's more die cutting but your project's gonna last it's gonna be quality and that's what people look for in their happy mail is that you took the time and you made a quality project, right? Okay. That is it for that TED Talk. <laughs> um, memory decks cards. Let's talk about them real quick, okay? I am going to get up real quick. And before I do anything else, I am going to put my Maker's Mark sticker on here. This one so happens to have round trip flowers on it <laughs> but it says handmade with love by bethany parlette and it has my instagram youtube and etsy um which is all the same at your crafty bff i'm going to put this down here at the bottom because every memory dex card should have your maker's mark even if you have to write it out write your name and your handles I, this is my crafter's choice item that I'm sending in the swap because I want them to know who the swap is coming from. <clears throat> um, so every memory disc card should at the very least have your name and your handle and your social media handles on it. However, I like to add my birthday and my address that way because that's what memory decks cards were really meant for with happy mail is so that 
your friends can have your information on file. So anytime they want to send you mail, they don't have to look up your address. It, um, they, ha they have your birthday, so you'll likely get at least one <laughs> birthday mail if you put your birthday on every memory dex card you send out. And so that's what I'm going to do here. Birthday. May 6, 1987. I'm even going to put my address on here right now because I don't care. I share it with everybody anyways. I host swap. So I'm going to write this on here. Before you decorate any memory decks cards, you should always put this info on it. And then that's like... Like I said, the, the maker's mark is the bare minimum you should put, but then putting your birthday and address would be the next level, and then you can put something about, um, you can put what your crafty style is. I don't know what my crafty style is, so I just put that I love pink, pastels, and anything Maggie Holmes. It's short, it's sweet, it's to the point, and it gives them a reference point of what I like and what um, I would, you know, is if they're going to put a mail together for me, they have all their all my information right here on this card, and um, even what I like, you know. So there we go. Now let's get to decorating this bad boy, shall we? <clears throat> like I said, I always start with a base embellishment not a huge fan of rosettes i do like little rosettes but i think we're gonna go with the paper ruffles paper ruffles are just the thing that i go to um they're simple to make i made quite a few of them and they're not perfect these are just papers that i ruffled up and sewed real quick before i started this video so I don't want, because, okay, so what, talking about the colors, because this has all of the colors on it, I don't want to pick one of these ruffles that has all of the colors on it. I want to pick one that is like a solid pink, or maybe this one with the white and pink. I think I'm going to go with the solid pink. I like that. Then we need to... Then we need to, um, okay, I'm leaving the strings on this time. I usually cut them off, but I'm just going to leave them on. See the little strings that hang out off of the paper ruffles. Um, let's see. So we, now we need some texture. <laughs> By the way, I never glue anything down until... I know exactly what I'm going to put on here, and um, I just kind of just set stuff on it, even if it's just a rough idea of what it's going to look like. Um, the thing with Murdex cards is that you don't want to make them, you don't want anything sticking off the sides too far because of the memory deck card holders are usually not a whole lot wider than the actual memory deck card. And I do have things hanging off the top of it because usually it's an open top, if that makes sense, but we don't want anything hanging off the sides too far. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go ahead and use some of this. So I'm just going to find an edge. Um, I like to have this peeking up over the top of my memory deck card. But you don't want it covering the holes at the bottom. So I will cut it like this. And then cut it like this. Like I said, I like to have it kind of peeking up off the top edge. So we have that. Cut backwards, actually. So we have that. Or maybe we do it like this. No, I think I like it like this better. A lot of it is just trying different things, seeing what looks best, and then once you think it looks good, 
and that's what that's what you you go with <clears throat> now i am very indecisive and this video could end up being really long but i'm gonna try not to do that today where did my pokey tool go there she is i'm just gonna poke out these little holes real quick little die cut things you guys are definitely going to see what a messy crafter I am. So that's part of why I'm nervous. <laughs> and then you're going to see how indecisive I am. And that's also why I'm nervous. Also, I don't think I'm good enough to be doing a video like this, sharing my process and, and everything. But this is very much a video that I wish I would have had when I was starting out. Like the process of how someone decorates, like their their thoughts behind it and what goes into it, and you know any guidelines that they go by. Um, now, like I said, you don't want anything hanging off the edge too far, but a little bit is okay, and off the top is okay as well. I really like this die. Oops, sorry, I just bonked that. Um. I really like this die because it adds like some little pokey out leaf pieces for when you add flowers. I'm thinking we're going to add flowers here, but I need to come up with um, some ephemera or cardstock stickers or something, something like that. What I'm going to put on the left because over here on the right, I'm going to do probably three flowers and three little resin flowers my memory decks cards um i often honestly um i have the same formula for like every memory decks card i make and they always turn out good and nobody seems to get sick of it so i'm going to keep on keeping on with that um I like to add tags as layering pieces. As a matter of fact, if I do add a tag onto something, I like to go ahead and punch the hole in it. So I'm taking my, my crocodile and punching the hole in it, and I'm going to add a gold eyelet. I have these over here in my little dust caddy. <clears throat> because it's one extra little detail that um you know people i think will admire that i you know it i think it really boils down to the it's like the little details the time that you took to do the little details um that's what people really seem to appreciate i know i do when i get mailed like that so i'm gonna do my tag right there I'm using the green and I've got the pink. So like I said, this the base of this memory dicks card has all of the um, main colors from the collection in it. So I'm playing off that pink by using this pink ruffle. I'm playing off this green by using this um, white and mint green tag. I like tickets. I like frames. I like, I like lots of things. Puffy stickers are usually a an afterthought for me, like a like a um, finishing touch type of thing. That might be too much pink, but we'll see. Ooh, I like this piece too. This brings in some of the blue, so we might get rid of this pink. I'm playing off the blue there. I like the pieces that have like the center missing because it gives it a really cool layered look. And then I think that's it from there. Um, I even thought about maybe putting. No, I don't like that. I thought about putting that there, but you know, we're not going to do that. Okay, so there's some layering pieces that I think are going to look good. And then, 
I am going to look at my chipboard, my cardstock stickers, and my ephemera. Um, if there is interest, I will do a video like this one, but how I decorate when I'm not using a collection, right? So this is me decorating and creating projects um, when I have a whole collection. and then, But I do have a fruit swap, and I'm two fruit swaps that I'm doing actually, that um, I don't have a collection for, and I'm decorating those things just using elements that I have in my stash. So if you guys are interested in a video like that, definitely let me know and I can make that happen. So puppy stickers, we have ephemera. I haven't even looked through this yet. Well, I've played with this collection before, but it's been a while. So I'm done with like the layering pieces. Ooh, I like this vellum little banner here. Love a butterfly. We might use that. Got some florals. Got the pretzel. butterfly but we've already got blue in there with that we don't have any light pink so this butterfly might be really a really nice piece to add in there for the light pink we have these these um suitcases here we have my favorite place there's a sentiment we could use some more florals an airplane we already have green in there, so probably not that. We have a pink bus. We have these. I like to use these kind of pieces. And I like to, like, rip them apart and use that texture in my layering as well. We have this vellum piece. I'm just looking through to see what we might have. Love frames for layering, too. We have a little bicycle. We might use that for the orange, maybe. So let's see what else we have. We definitely don't have any yellow, so we could use the taxi. Ooh, I think I like the taxi. But let's see what else we got. Um, here on the cardstock stickers. <clears throat> Just look in. There we have the same taxi, and it's about the same size. Um, then we have... post office box that might be fun we have this blue bus down here we have the floral the bike is about the same size this one is a pink airplane but we already have pink i really like using these like little layerings these little label stickle blah, 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 layer stickers um layering stickers in my um layering as well like this one here or this one or this one or this one fact, i think i'm gonna put this guy right here and i might actually ooh, i have an idea so i was saying how the taxi is actually i have three of these chipboards because i got them on no four of these chipboards <laughs> i got these on clearance at um Oh, what was it called? Tuesday morning. We had a bunch of them at Tuesday morning, and I lucked out and got some. Um, this taxi is going to work perfect. It's a, the chipboard taxi. It's bringing in the yellow from the um, base paper, and it's actually a little bigger than the cardstock sticker or the um, ephemera piece of that. So, um, the other thing I was thinking was this post office box. Thank <laughs> you. 
and you don't have to hit every single color that's in there but I like to layer in fact I don't think this is needed so I'm going to take the post office box out and probably use that somewhere else and we have now we have everything I'm going to all the ephemera pieces and chipboard stickers that I'm going to use so I'm going to start gluing this stuff down and then I'm going to add my flowers puffy stickers and enamel dots if I think they need it and then we'll have to add a, a um, sentiment as well so remember how that was <laughs> And we're going to take this down like so. And then I'm going to get my hot glue gun. I'm be using my hot glue gun out of frame because it's on a short leash. But just know I'm adding hot glue. Especially when you're um, wanting to glue down um, mesh or some or tool, I recommend having that base embellishment like your paper ruffle, uh, gluing that at least back down with um, hot glue because then your mesh is going to stay. It's not going to go anywhere. <clears throat> I'm going to tuck this tag in to the to the. Um, See, you guys are seeing how it gets really messy around here, and I don't want you guys to get distracted. So, um, what I'm going to do is lift this up just a little bit, add some hot glue to the back of my tag, and there's a little gold foil. I'm going to slide that down in there, and I'm having it stick off the top just a little bit like so and it's kind of on a diagonal <clears throat> next we can add this I like this label sticker I'm gonna put that right there in fact um one of the things I didn't write down and I can't believe I didn't is dimension Dimension is oh so important to at least to me when I'm decorating because putting everything down and having it be on the same level for um for any embellishment is boring and I think people really like the visual um that adding these little foam squares gives to any project. I know I love it and I highly suggest you use foam tape to add dimension to the different layers that you put down. So I did put some um, foam tape behind this this label sticker and it makes it stick up off the paper a little bit. Now I'm going to glue this bad boy down. Again, we don't want it covering the holes down at the bottom. I'm going to use my liquid glue for this. Sounds like my daughter's home. Hi, daughter. What you doing? I'm recording this video, this craft with me video. I am decorating, showing people how I decorate things. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, somebody asked me to do a video like this, so. They are getting the video they want. I try to please my subscribers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there is that. He's looking cute there. This layered circle with all these florals popping out. Next, I'm going to add this, this frame here. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here on the bottom because it is going to stick up off the, the top a little bit as well. Like so. Also add a little bit of a diagonal. 
Um, <clears throat> let's see, what else did we have? We had that butterfly. Where's that butterfly at? Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. Now, the butterfly is definitely going to go up on some foam. Because that's another layer of dimension that we can add here. I get these pink, these super cute pink foam squares from Lisa at the Happy Crafter Shop. It's like happycraftershop.com, I believe is her website. There's something stuck on my foam. Okay. And by the way, don't mind all my band-aids. <laughs> I scraped my finger here, and I um, cut myself here, and I didn't want to be bleeding all over everything. So, now I'm just cutting this guy in fourths so that I can put this um, these smaller pieces of foam tape here at the bottom of the butterfly. I'm going to take my backs off. Uh, forgive my sniffling. It seems that my autoimmune disorder is trying to creep up and I don't appreciate it whatsoever. I'm going to use my hot glue again. And I'm going to put him right here. You can see it's coming together. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to use this vellum by here. I know I want my taxi right here, and my sentiment is going to go right here. So, I'm also going to add some foam to this chipboard. This chipboard taxi cab. Let's see. Yeah, that works. Save and one more. Make sure it's not poking out anywhere. Nope. <clears throat> and I wonder if it might need two layers of foam because it's half on the paper ruffle and half not. Nope. One layer of foam is going to do it. So I'm going to add my hot glue. And put this guy right here. Now you can see all see it coming together. All the colors from the from the pattern paper that I use. You got the green, the pink, the blue, the yellow, the dark pink. And now we're gonna cheat and use some of these Hobby Lobby flowers. Because like I said, I was gonna make some and then I'm like, no, I'm just gonna cheat and use my Hobby Lobby flowers. So we have the dark pink and we have the light pink. I'm just going to take a minute to snip these wires off. I'm going to use one dark pink and two light pink. Again, here goes that rule of three. So, maybe we should take a minute to review. So, we have our base embellishment that I was talking about, the paper ruffle. We have texture from this pink tool here. You can see it. Through the layering pieces like that's why I like these open frame pieces so because you can see some more of the texture that you added there in the back we have this layering die cut that's gonna that adds that shine from the gold foil we have the color balance um, using all the colors within the pattern paper and now we're going to move on to the rule of threes Okay, I've got hot glue strings, but I'm going to show you how to get rid of those here in a minute in case you don't know. But like I said, I'm using one dark pink and two light pink for our rule of three. I'm thinking I'm going to do it just like this. I'm also thinking about making this one a little bit smaller by taking off this last petal. So, scrunching this one up a little more to make it smaller. And 
and I'm gonna make I'm gonna take this bottom layer off of this one as well so that the two light pink ones are the same size so here I'm just adding ooh, 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 ooh. do I want see I have some leaves from this but do I want some of these leaves poking out I think I do So because we have, oh, that one's too big, I need the smaller one. These leaves have three leaves on them each, but following the rule of three, we're going to do this. We're going to put three, three of these leaves um, in a triangle shape here, and I'm imagining where I'm going to put my flowers too. You don't want the leaf sticking too off, too far off the side, but a little bit is okay. Here is this one. And then we're going to do this one. I'm sorry for the sniffling, guys. Sorry. Uh, for my new subscribers who don't know, I don't mind sharing this um, because it's a, some, just something I live with. But I like to explain why I sniffle all the time. It's not because my nose is really running. It's because I have an autoimmune disorder that gives me um, allergy-like symptoms. So, like, no matter how much I blow my nose, I still have the sniffles. And I get watery eyes, watery itchy eyes, and the whole nine yards. And um, some people will, will say, like, you know, you don't have to explain. But I don't mind explaining, especially because I think, you know, if people, if I explain, then people understand. And they're not so quick to uh, be like, blow your freaking nose, you nasty, you know. <laughs> they're I feel like if I explain, then maybe it'll be less off-putting to people, or they might be nicer to me. <laughs> Just my thought process there. Um, so I put these three leaves here. I followed the rule of three by using the three leaves. I'm using the rule of three again by adding these three flowers. The one dark pink and the two light pink. Loving how that's coming out. Now, when I add flowers like this, I usually like to add some of my little uh, flower flatback cabochons as well. And I have some blue, some, like, some blue ones. I think I want to use these right here. You're gonna see all the glue on my hands. <laughs> I like to use these because A, I have them in my stash, so why not? And B, they make just a really cute little addition. Like I said, it's for me, it's definitely all in the small details. And we're going on 43 minutes and we're not even done decorating one thing. I can say typically I would be a little faster, not a lot faster than this, but at least a little faster. But I'm explaining everything and trying to make sure that you guys see what I'm doing and understand what I'm doing. Or maybe and maybe understanding my thought process behind it. Okay, so there is my memory dex card. Um for hot glue strings. My trick, you're not going to be able to see it, but you're going to be able to hear it, is my heat embossing gun. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. I know that for sure. Um, but I'm just going to take my heat embossing gun. It sounds like this. And I'm going to just run it over anywhere there are hot glue strings. And it's going to make them, disap make them disappear. So give me just a minute. 
because I got hot glue everywhere. I'm telling you, I'm a messy, messy crafter. I think that's it. I think, I think, I think. <laughs> And there we have it. Um, I feel like it is missing something. Whether that is... No. We already have the yellow there with the taxi. We don't need another flower there. Maybe it's a puff sticker. Or some enamel dots. Oh, we definitely need a sentiment. Hello. We have this one here that says beautiful. Oh, and we didn't decide if we were going to add that. I think we are going to add that. And then we'll add this beautiful here. And then we're going to add something right up here. So let's do that. Where did my hot glue stick go? It fell out of my hot glue gun. Let me get another one. <laughs> there we go. Are you guys sick of seeing my desk like this? I'm sorry for the people that it, I'm sure it bugs some, some people. and It bugs me too, but when I'm like, I get hyper-focused on what I'm creating and that's it. <laughs> I'm going to add some um, dimensionals here to the back of this sentiment because I love dimensions. And it makes it pop, you know. Let's see that. It's sticking out a little bit, so I'm going to cut that off. Peel these off. Hot glue. Put that up there. What do we think? Is it too much, guys? Is it too much? I I'm thinking no to a puffy sticker. Unless I don't know. I kind of like that airplane. Do I have that airplane here? No. The bike there. No. I like the airplane. It is green, but I think it looks good there, right? Yeah. And with that added, I don't think it needs enamel dots. I think that does it. Love it. Well, I like it. I don't know if I love it or not, but. There is my memory deck card completed. It only took 48 minutes. <laughs> Hopefully now that I'm in the groove, we can get through this tag and bag topper. Because I wanted to give you guys more than one, just one example. So there's the memory deck card. Always have a sturdy base. Excuse me. I always have a base embellishment. Like the paper ruffle or a rosette or something like that. I always add some texture either with an intricate die cut like this or some tool or mesh. Um, I like to use tags and layering like frames, layering pieces, things like that um, to add dimension and you can see things poking out behind them. Um, color balance, we talked about that, um, because I used a, a pattern paper that had all the colors in it, I was able to work in the dark pink, the light pink, the blue, the green, and then I was able to do these, um, this dark pink and light pink flowers, and then the little blue flowers, plus I love, I love the touch of gold foil, I use it on almost all my projects. 
I think that little airplane puffy sticker was the perfect finishing touch. So let's move on to the tag, if I can find it. Yes, there it is. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So, so sorry. Alright, we're going to try to move this along. So we have our embellishment with tags. Like I said, I use, I cut it out in 110 pound cardstock and then I do pattern paper on the front and on the back for tags. Um, I always add an eyelet. Sometimes I'll add an, a whole reinforcer and an eyelet, but today I just did the gold eyelet. I'm thinking about adding some of this pink seam binding here because that's always fun, right? I love my seam binding. And I can... I'm just going to cut it at an angle there. And I don't tie them. What I do is add a little bit of hot glue here to the front. So that that sticks up. And then I add a little bit to the back. That this sticks up, and then there we have it. I might trim it a little bit because it is a little long. Perfect. So there is my tag with my seam binding. I think this time, guys, I'm gonna skip the. Well, maybe we'll do the snow tool. No, we're gonna do the intricate die cut because it's different from the mesh that I used last time. Now I love this die because I can cut it into pieces and use use it on multiple projects. I like to kind of go like this. I'm gonna add some glue to the back. Now, my subscribers have said that they don't mind long videos, especially my friends who um, play my videos while they're crafting. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for listening or watching or whatever while you craft. I love that. It makes me so happy when people tell me they do that, uh, especially Miss Anne and Miss Lisa. Hi, Anne and Lisa. Um, okay, so I went ahead and glued on this intricate die cut. Now I am going to cut from the back. I'm going to cut off the excess. Can you yes, ma'am. I'm decorating three different projects. Okay, well, so it's going to, this is number two. The first one took a while, but we're getting there. Help decorate the next one? Sure. Yeah. As long as you don't mind if I shoot down your ideas. <laughs> You're not gonna shoot down Where ideas? did the memory deck card go? Oh, it's right here. See? Isn't it pretty? Oh, that is pretty. Thank you, thank you. So this one, instead of using tool, we're using the center tag cut. You don't want to help with this one, Ray? You want to help with the next one, the bag topper? I Okay. Some candy. Okay. Nobody wants to hear you chew, though. I'm sure. As long as you're not chewing real loud or by the microphone, you should be fine. Okay, so see how that gold foil intricate die cut adds such texture and detail and dimension to the background? Love it. Again, so again, this paper that I chose has... All of the main colors from the collection, the blue, the purple, the yellow, the dark blue, the pinks. Yes, ma'am. A leaf. That might be a little too much gold foil, but we will see. Okay, so now we need some layering pieces. <coughs> so we could... A doily would be too, a do, adding a doily to this would be too much texture. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, maybe. Flowers are kind of like a last minute ordeal. The way that I'm showing people is that you want to do some layering pieces, maybe some frames or tickets. What do you see? Ooh, I don't even go with this collection. Yeah, it looks cute. <laughs> it does. I am going to try to find a frame. It could. Should we use a rosette? No rosette to go with this. Okay. I think that would be really cute. It would be. Good eye, sis. I'm looking for a frame. Let me get a frame from this cart right here. <coughs> I should have a gold. No, we don't want a gold one. We want something else. Let's see. Dolly would be so much safer. Sorry, guys. I'm looking through little my little craft cat or um, cart. Nope, we don't glue anything down until we're sure, exactly sure that that's what we want to do. I never glue anything down until I'm really, I'm really sure. I'm sure for me, but I just thought about you. Okay, how about one of, how about this green frame? Should we do green or pink? Let me see. Light pink. Hmm, I'll take this. Light pink? Okay. <laughs> I think you're right. And I'm thinking we're going to put it, like, to the side. Like, so. That could work. I like. And then we I like, a rosette on it. And then we'll put the rosette down here in this corner. Oh, uh -huh, that actually looks like a good little pack. Okay. So now we need, um, the main, like, ephemera or cardstock sticker. That we're going to decorate with. So we have ephemera right here. We got cardboard. You can do. You could do flowers. Look at this flower. Oh, that's pretty. We have some of these tickets. Ooh, I like this little flag that says "See the World." Do you want to add like a little? We can do a little heart there. A it's little like chipboard a little heart. It's sticky, so you don't have to glue it. Oh, no, I still got to glue it. You don't ever trust the, the, ooh, maybe we should do this frame. <gasps> yes, we could do that frame. Let's do that. We, find, we found a better frame, guys, for ya. This is from Sweet Story, I think, or maybe All Hearts. This actually goes with the collection. That really, that really looks good. It so. looks a lot better, don't it? Yeah, so I think we should do that one. Color can make a big difference. Yeah. Let's maybe do it like, maybe like this. What do you think? I like that. Or we could go with this frame too. Oh, but I think I think that big. one's too big and there's too much, uh, too much of the same colors. Yeah. So. Okay, so we can do that, and then we're gonna do this little flag. Yes, that's adorable, Mama. Okay, but we still, it's still missing something. I don't know what. But it's some, I'm thinking of one of these vehicles, like either not the taxi because we already use the taxi on the mem decks, but maybe the bike or the bus or the plane. I like the plane. The plane's cute. What color is the chipboard plane? Pink. Okay. We didn't like oh the the this one. This one's green. Ooh yeah, I like the green plane on there. That works better. Mm -hmm. Should we do this? See the world. Do you like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep this guy. Keep this guy. Happy. Okay. So I'm gonna add some hot glue to my chipboard frame. You Pink. love burning yourself. No way, bro. You love burning yourself. I'm really good at it. This is the best. Put this right here. I feel like we still need maybe like a ticket. Yeah, that looks good. Hmm. My subscribers are getting to see exactly how messy of a um crafter I really am. I've always told them that I am, but now, now they can they get to see it. now they can for sure believe me. This little clip is so cool, guys. Oh yeah, we had such a good view of it. I'm thinking one of these. I look like front row seats at a movie. Maybe the orange one. I like the orange one. 
Okay, just give me a second. We can hot glue the next thing, okay? okay. In fact, it's going to be the rosette. So go ahead. Like in the middle? Wait, I'm thinking maybe the green rosette? The green plane? What do you think? <laughs> the green one that looks better. Okay, so put your glue right there. What a good helper. I know. We need a lot of it. Yeah, I never know how much I have. So. so we're using our base embellishment, which is this rosette. We've got our layering pieces, including the that intricate die cut that I cut up. So we have Mama. this pink frame. We have this um, label, this orange label ticket that ha adds some texture because I tore it off there. Our base embellishment here. Okay, my band-aid's trying to come off. <laughs> Now I'm thinking maybe, now I'm thinking maybe, what if we did like this? You like that? Or no? No? We like the heart better? Okay. Let's put some foam tape on this flag. I got the sniffles today. Stupid autoimmune disorder. I don't think I have that, but I do have the sniffles. Yeah. Well, it's because we live in Ohio and the weather changes every three seconds. Add some hot glue on there for me. I don't need it. You're doing good. Just put it on there. More. Jeez, you're slow. Okay. There Sorry, you go. Sorry, I just don't want to add too much or too little. Huh, ma'am? Okay. Just go ahead and add some glue onto this heart. Okay. I did good on that one. Yeah, you did. If you're wondering what I'm eating, it's like this nut bar. A salted nut roll from um, Dollar Tree. We found it yesterday and I thought it sounded good. It's pretty good. I'm cutting off these little foam squares mm -hmm. to, to put our airplane on foam. I, I was saying that a lot of my subscribers said they don't mind long videos because they like to craft to videos. And I'm like that too. I like to craft to other crafters. No, thank you. Yeah. She offered me a bite of that and I said, no, thank you. I think we need something blue. Yeah, me too. I'm thinking Wait. this ticket right here. Oh, that's a whole flower. I was just the happy. ticket or the or the post office box. I think the ticket. Or this. Yeah. That one. It says, "Let's go." Let's go. That reminds me of Billy. Let's go. We're gonna have to put this on foam. Okay, put everything on foam. Everything! everything. <laughs> hey, we know each other too well. Yeah, we do. We're twinsies. Alright so guys, we're almost done with the tag, and then we will move on to our last little bag topper. I know, you're probably excited for the bag topper the most. The mm. grand finales are always better. I'm going to put this like this here, and then we're going to do... Oh, should I put some hot glue on it? I'm going to put some on this plane, yep. Yeah, that's what I said. But this needs... <laughs> you're like, get off of me! Get off of me! So I hope you guys like this video and I hope that it's not too long or too boring and that it's understandable. Right. They're gonna they're gonna love it now. And one more little piece of foam here on the back end because of that frame. Almost. Oh, excuse me. 
had like an indigestion come up. It wasn't even a burp, it was just indigestion. Give it. I don't, I just don't want to burn you, okay? I know. Here we go. Oh. And we're going to do this plane right here. And there we have our tag done. So I, I let again let's go over my like my, my little guidelines. So I used the paper that had um, all the colors from the collection in it. It happened to be this travel um, logo one. Excuse me. I have this minty green rosette that I made a long time ago using this collection. Um, so that's my base embellishment. I have um, a layer. I have this intricate die cut that I used for layering. Always use layering. I use an intricate die cut or mesh or tool for the for texture in my layering. Then I like to use layering pieces like frames or tickets um, to add a little something something behind the main image, which in this case is this minty green and white airplane. We have another little, we have two label, we have a chipboard label sticker and then an ephemera label piece here added this little flag that says see the world and this chipboard heart because Reagan said so. <laughs> so there is our tag all done. And last but not least My mom's favorite. My we mom's can, famous word. We can move on to because the bag Reagan. topper. My mom's famous word. Because Reagan said so. Because Reagan said so. That's right. Now this is this is the new um scalloped bag topper from kf craft it comes in three sizes and this is the smallest i picked the smallest because all my stuff has to fit into this or at least the majority of my stuff has to fit into this 3d camera box that i made so that's why we're doing the small ones i'm not a huge fan of small bag toppers I find them harder to decorate, but like I said, everything has to fit into this box. Let me open it up so you can see it. Everything's got to fit in here, and so we're going small. <coughs> A flower. Okay. Well, we already did flowers on the memory deck card, so we might not do them there. Now... We've used our, um, our pink, we've used this stuff, we've used this intricate die cut, um, on the tag, so now I'm thinking we should use my favorite light pink snow tool from Dollar Tree. So I am going to just line this up. Some off of the roll here. Now, tool doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna put it like this. I'm gonna put this down like this. Okay. And we need a base embellishment. So okay. I think I'm gonna go with another paper ruffle oh wow really and this time i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna go with this one that has the florals on it and that way that that i don't have to stick with just pink because this paper back here is just pink and white this brings in the opportunity to use any color that from the collection so this is the just that floral paper that we used on the memory deck card and i made a paper ruffle from it so there's that <laughs> um i tend to lean towards the smaller um stickers and ephemera pieces and such for bag toppers so i'm looking over here can we use I need something, something to layer with. We've got a little 
tag, a little purple tag. I'm going to go ahead and add an eyelet to it because I always do that with my with my tags. Do you see um oh this is this and then I need my eyelets. Do you see my bag of gold eyelets? There they are. Yeah, we could add some of that on there. That is some really cool trim that Miss Alice sent me. We use definitely the pink, right? Not the blue. Yeah, I really is. <laughs> the pink, the pink. I'm putting this gold eyelet in this tag here. Lately, my crocodile does not want to make a perfect eyelet no matter what I do. But here we go. I have my paper ruffle. I have my tag. We have this has tape all in it. I'm thinking I'm just going to put it right here on the paper ruffle. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is a really cool like tassel like trim. Love it. Love it. Thank you again to Miss Alice for sharing it with me. She had used some in one of her in her winter loaded bag swap, and I was like, I need that in my life. But not until we figure out where everything's going, right? Um, I'm thinking about using this minty green vellum piece here to bring in some green, like that, and then. Like I said, we're going to stick with some smaller pieces, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking we need a postage stamp. What do you think, Reagan? Postage stamp? This yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. Or one of these? Oh, the strawberries. The strawberries? We can do two. Okay, we can? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do oh, yes, one. Oh, yes, that's beautiful. This one? Pretty. And then we need... What do we need? These. We need a sentiment, and we need, like, a flower, or oh, maybe... What about this camera? Mm. Yeah, because then it brings in the blue. It's perfect. Oh, yeah, there is that from the blue top. Okay, I think we have a bag topper, people. See, that went a lot faster this time. I'm just going to glue this vellum piece, and then you can do the best. Ha! You used my idea. What? I, w I was going to say, we're going to put that on. What, that vellum piece? Yeah, I was, oh. say, I was like this, and then put it in front of it. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to glue this one on, too, just to make sure that we get enough on there to get the tool glued down. Lovely. And I still want my scallops showing at the bottom. Here is this. Okay, add some hot glue just along the paper ruffle for me, please. Oh. More than that. More? Yes. There you go. Hot breath. <laughs> Did you, were you scared I was going to burn you or something? Yeah, I felt some hotness, man. Goofy. Okay, there's that. And then... We need Oops, I forgot to add this tag. Give me the hot glue. Oh. Mm. I'm trying to get this video done with. We're at 1 hour and 14 minutes and 6 seconds. An hour? Yeah, over an hour. Dang, man. It's 7.09 right now. And then we're going to add... We're going to add our foam squares to add some dimension to these stamps because I love dimension. Don't forget about the dimension, people. Oh, that's almost, I almost did that upside down. That way, and strawberries.
I left postage stamps because of their wavy, their wavy, um, borders for layering too. It, it just adds that little bit of texture. I think it makes it look great. And finally, we're going to add this camera right here. And then we just last and but not least need a sentiment. I think. I'm going to do two layers of foam here on this camera. Um, to give it a whole nother layer of dimension. I hope this is easy for you guys to understand. If you ha ever have any questions, feel free to reach out and I would be more than happy to help you. I help people on Instagram all the time. And they come up to me with questions and I do not mind helping whatsoever. Okay, so there is that. And now we just need a sentiment. Memories, details. I think it's got to be the details, right? Or smile or let's go. Let's go or smile, Reagan. Or remember. Or remember. Are you sure? But then I can't oh, add foam, so no. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry! No, no. I'm going to do this remember. It's orange. Here. And I'm not going to add dimension because I'm lazy. But it'll still look good. Because it has dimension already because it's chipboard. Right? go. I'm going to trim this tool here on the side real quick. Like so. And I think it needs a puffy sticker. A what? It needs a puffy sticker to finish it off. Oh, I it's a puffy sticker. A puffy sticker? No way. Where are my puffy stickers? Oh, puffies. Where did you go? Imagine that I lost something on this messy desk. Imagine that. Now, guys, I do use enamel dots a lot. I happen to not use any in this video. But at times, a puffy sticker will do the job just as well as enamel dots do. Seriously, dude, where's my puffy stickers? Um, I don't like you no more, so... Oh, is that it? But I need something small. I can give you something... Can you look out? I am thinking you're maybe in the way of... Them. Do you guys see my puffy stickers somewhere? And I'm just not seeing them. Is that it? Mom, let's go to someone's spot. Is that it? I bet they see them somewhere. So what the frick, man? Where did my puffy stickers go? This is going to drive me nuts. I'm trying to end the video, and I can't even end the video because I can't find the puffy sticker. Puffy sticker. Yeah, puffy sticker. Mom, not everything needs a the puffy. puffy. The puffy stickers are small, and it'll be the perfect finishing touch. I'm telling you right now. Uh, Don't argue with me. Uh, Who's the expert, huh? <laughs> not, me. No, not me, that's for sure. Exactly, it's me. Alright guys, I can't find the puffy sticker. But make sure to just add a puffy sticker. Maybe we can use one of these little cardstock stickers. In fact, yeah, let's use, let's use this one right here. I'm going to add some foam on the back. That's going to drive me crazy. I'm I'm sure I'll find them just as soon as I shut this video down. Just remember to add your puffy sticker. Puffy stickers and enamel dots make great finishing touches. I probably would have added a puffy sticker right here had I been able to find them. Instead, we're adding this little suitcase, luggage, hat box, whatever you want to call it right there. And there is our back topper. So, 
I guess we'll review one more time because <laughs> why not? It's already a long video. Here are the three projects that we decorated today. Using my, look, there's my puppy stickers. Oh, well, it's too late. Okay. <laughs> Decorating. Um, I, these are like kind of the guidelines that I went over at the beginning. Um, I use a base embellishment on each one of these. Um, I use the base embellishment on two of them. I use paper ruffles. Like I said, I use paper ruffles all the time. They're super easy to make and super functional and add a little bit of dimension. Um, on this one, the base embellishment was this rosette that I had pre-made. Um, I added texture to each one. Um, this one, I used this pink um, mesh that I like to use. On the bag topper, I used this pink snow tool. And on the tag, I used an intricate gold foil die cut in the background. And that adds a little bit of texture. Um, and shine from the gold foil. Um, I used layering die cuts, so I used this uh, floral this floral wreath piece here that you can see sticking up here. You can also see parts of it here and here and here and right there. Um, again, the, this intricate die cut is a layering die cut. Then let's then we can talk about like the layering die cuts that die cuts or ephemera pieces or cardstock stickers or chipboard stickers that have like frames like these or tags or label stickers like on this one love frames love tags love label stickers love stamps those are good layering pieces as well um then we have the whole color balance thing like I say, I like to use a um, one of the pattern papers from the collection that has at least the majority of the colors from a collection. Like this floral paper has the pinks, the purples, the greens, the yellows, the blues, so on and so forth. And then I don't feel like I'm trapped by um, a color wave um, when I use the, the pattern paper that has all the different colors on it like this pattern paper also with the um the luggage oh what do you call these like the logos the city logos um passport stamps that's what you want to call them this one has all the different colors and so you you can use the pinks the greens the blues the yellows and not feel trapped by a color whereas if you use a pattern paper like this that has just the one or two colors um you can end up feeling trapped by like you can only use pink or maybe purple to go along with it just one other color so it's not too crazy but then if you add the paper ruffle that has all the colors that breaks it up for you and opens it up to being able to use any sticker any chipboard piece that you wish I hope that makes sense. So color balance is good. And then the rule of threes. So um, our brains just like the way um, the number three. So here is that example in the flowers with the three flowers, the three leaves, and the three little flowers. Our brains just like threes. Um, not... Um, not that this really applies, but here you can see um, there's actually three pieces that your eye gets drawn to first. Um, at least my eye gets drawn to first. The, the butterfly, the taxi, and then the beautiful flag. I think my eye gravitates towards those three first, and, you know, they're kind of in an order. Here we have... Um, I, it's kind of like an attra I don't know if you, if it makes sense to you guys, but it does to me because I I learned about like the rule of threes when I was really young, and so um, it just is kind of incorporated into me. So like we have this here, this um, orange ticket down here, and then the frame 
here at the top of the triangle and then we have this rosette down at the bottom right of the triangle it like kind of makes a triangle and that's your rule of three um it makes sense to me maybe not to you i hope it does <laughs> um this one with the rule of three i guess it would be the layering pieces that i used um so i have the the tag and then the two posted stamps um that I use as layering pieces and then we have some background pieces like the vellum doesn't really for me it doesn't really count because it's not solid it is see-through so yeah so there are the three things that I have designed um my the the sixth thing I didn't put down is dimension of course dimension um anytime you think you can you can manage to add another layer of foam tape um, so so that just so that everything's not flat to the to the embellishment you want that you want all that lovely layering and dimension because it really pops out at you when when things are layered up like that and have like it's so you have the bottom layer that's right against the embellishment. Then you have the one layer of foam here. And then you have the two layers of foam here. And it really pops. So, like I said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to um, reach out to me on Instagram. Or ask them down in the comments below. And I will be happy to help you out. I um, hope all of this made sense. Um, my last tip for this video is that if you use a chipboard sticker or a cardstock sticker or anything and it's sticking off the edge here and you don't want it to be sticky, use uh, yourself one of these powder tools. This one's from EK, EK Tools. And um, anytime I have like this, like this right here is a cardstock sticker and it's sticking up. And if I go to package this, the cello bag is going to stick to that. So I use my baby, it's just baby powder in a little tool. I've, I've said this before in videos, but just in case somebody missed it, use your little baby powder tool to take away that stickiness and then it's not going to, nothing's going to stick to it. And that is my final piece of advice for uh, layering and decorating embellishments. Um, if you are interested in me continuing this, um, idea, <laughs> so in this video I decorated, um, these three projects with items that I got from the round trip collection and if you're interested in seeing how i would decorate projects not using a collection using just random things from my stash die cuts and um and whatnot um uh, let me know because like i said i have um two fruit themed swaps that i'm not using a collection for and i would be happy to show you guys how i'm going to decorate those types of items if you're interested so let me know thank you so much for watching thanks for sticking to the end um yeah don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions and i thank you so much for watching have a great day bye